against HIV without condoms. Okay, men and female condoms. We had an agreement on that? So now you turn to talk. What we want to do here is that we started it last uh, few months ago in uh, Ethiopia at Ikasa. You were there. Yeah, okay. Some of you were there. Anal sex is a topic that people feel very uncomfortable talking about. And we want to hear the reason behind it and we want to hear the misconception about anal sex that you have heard about, that you yourself might have, the question you have on anal sex. We want to start a dialogue about it. So I can start by saying that I've heard that people are saying that when you're having anal sex, it's because it's less risky than vaginal sex. Life is just happening. 
right? I gotta turn off my lights, you know, or go to the doctor. Yeah. I gotta go get a job and turn off my lights for the kids. But talk about those programs, but talk about those talk about those programs where the treatment is either subsidized and or free. There's a component where she comes into being um exposed to the virus and this is really early on when there wasn't even a name for it and what that meant and what that means now and um so it's really important that we that we all are empowered to make decisions uh, for for our health and um and that we live in an environment where dying because you're going to have a, a, a intimate moment is not part of the equation getting sick you know that you, there are ways to prevent i'm also really impressed by one of our other um Institute colleagues, uh, Patrick Polk, the director, his movie, his movie, The Skinny. I don't know if any of you've seen it. You, uh, it, it was a, it, it's a small indie film that played major cities. It played DC and New York, Chicago, I believe too, Atlanta. All of those are big cities with the diet, where the, uh, the, the demographic for AIDS um, is like through the roof and astronomical in our community. Anyway, it's a wonderful movie about four gay young people who are just entering their sexual life. And he really breaks down the skinny on um, on just all of the sort of uh, how you prepare for it. I mean, it's a great, really interesting storyline, but he breaks down the facts, you know, from Pat Avin and Emma, all these kinds of things, to, um, to uh, a sexual rape. And, um, and there's a, a little bit similar where this kid becomes uh, exposed to it because uh, taking the drugs at a party and then is exposed because two, two guys take him away and have their way with him. So it's a really funny movie and it's done in such a dramatic way that it's getting the message out. And I think things like that, where it's part of the story, people can really see themselves. And it's entertaining and moving and poignant and you get it. You really, really get it. We really appreciate you. No, 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 it's good. It's, it's my job to be here. And, and I was going to ask you about your show, so you already talked about that. But it's great. And, and, and I appreciate you putting a plug for Patrick's film. And that's another part of, we've been really blessed at the Black Age Institute. And this is a lot to, to fill in his personality. But a lot of people have definitely stepped up and sucked. And that's the right thing to do. And I really appreciate you even have stepped up in so many ways in, in terms of walking the walk. And you joined the board of the organization, which has a huge commitment. And you've got directed videos. I definitely encourage people to go to Greater Than Dot. We have our Black Hollywood PSAs are also on YouTube and at the Black Age Institute website. And, and again, we'll try to see get through the course of this week with the shows and because it's amazing work to see all these folks come together and get a really poignant message from their heart. And, and also it's great with the Greater Than AIDS campaign that it's, we have a combination of regular people, and that's who's going to be here this afternoon, some of the spokespeople, and we have Black Hollywood stepping up. Because this is together we can we can fight HIV and AIDS and it's like they're going to be coming together. The doctor from the doctors, um, Master Sonis yeah, yeah. Yeah. She, she was on daily talking about health issues and stuff. She's also one of the people that are highlighted in the in the PSAs, really giving those staggering statistics that folks just aren't aware of. And when you put it in a context like that, you know, people go, oh, you mean everybody I know, everybody I know has AIDS, and HIV, and is talking with this disease. And so it's just really important that we embrace it as an issue that we can do something about. That's what's so empowering. It's not just like, oh, there isn't a solution. We are right here in the midst of the solution. And that's what's so exciting about the conference and all the uh, information that's being disseminated. And as we as we also move through this, we, we realize that in our in our community, we're dealing with stigma, we're dealing with uh, people's feelings around just even having a real conversation about sex. And we get to bring that out of the closet and, and onto the table where we can really any shame off of it and really just deal honestly with all of these ills in our community and in our families and in our lives and we're really going to make a difference because we're talking about it really honestly. Thank you so much. So now let's turn it over to see if there are any questions I think anyone has for our show this morning.
to it if you just did a community, right? So my own personal experience with my HIV and AIDS is that I'm an artist, right? So when people like Billy Smith and Rob Hudson and all these people in the in the profession, I mean all these great talents, I remember also um oh, I'm forgetting her name. Get out of here. Come here and raise the subscribe. All right, peace.